Do you want a quick and effective way to search in Google Patents? The trick is to think before you search. This video is going to show you how to go through the searching process, what you need to think about before you actually get into Google Patents and do the searching. One clarification before we get started. This is for inventors who are trying to search to find out if their invention is new. There are lots of different other types of patent searching and this video doesn't cover those. The first part of thinking before you search is brainstorming. I want you to think about a few things that go into a couple of different categories. The first of those is what makes your invention unique? The second category is what makes your invention new or how is it different than all of the other things that came before it? The next category is a little bit more complicated, but I want you to think about what are the things that your invention really needs to have if the end user of the invention is going to enjoy all of the advantages of the invention. If you get all these down, write them down on a sheet of paper, then you can go to the next step. You can stop brainstorming when you have come up with about 10 good features. The next thing I want you to do is take your list and really look at the list and see what is most important to your invention. And I want you to take a separate sheet, number it one to six, and put the top six things that make your invention unique and special and put them in order of importance to you. There are a lot of other ways to search and ways to search with a great deal more precision than what I'm about to tell you. But this video is about how to do some fast and effective searching in Google Patents. So the thing that I want you to do is take your list items that you came up with one through three and just enter them into Google Patents in sequence. You don't have to worry about any punctuation. Just type it into the search box and hit enter. Your goal as you go through this search process is to find the single document that is the best match to the invention that you've come up with. So as you go through, the thing that you want to do is go into individual documents, take a look at them, and then if you find something that looks like it is probably relevant, write down the patent document number. The patent document number is two things. The first is a country code, which would be, for example, US. The second thing is a document number. So um, an example of a full document number that you could easily go back and find a patent would be US 10 million for the 10 millionth issued US patent. As you go and write each of these individual document numbers down, um, it, this may become a confusing process because what you want to do is go back later and find the most important document. So every time you discover something new that you think is the most important as of the time that you're looking at it, put a star next to it. If you find something later, put two stars next to that document. And basically at the end, you may have a big pile of document numbers, but the one with the most stars should be the one that is the most relevant. If it's not and you need to look at the documents again, at least you know what path you took and you have some assessment of what was important. At this point, you know how to use the Google Patents main search bar to put together a string of invention features and get some good search results. You've also put together a prioritized list of your invention features. What you can do now is take that prioritized list and run a series of additional searches. This slide, if you just put together the numbers for the individual invention features into the search box and click enter, it'll give you a new and different set of results. There's a lot of different ways to do this. This is just a quick way to combine six invention features in several different ways without a lot of thinking about how you should be combining them. If you're interested in more tips like this, um, more advanced searching techniques, please consider subscribing to this channel. Good luck searching.